really early. Um, it's not even out loud outside yet, but I wanted to, Aria's out here. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, number one, I want to say that I'm in on Pintar and Robin's um, giveaway. So if you guys have not watched them, they are really cool. I really love their videos. I'll put a link to them in the description so you could go check them out. I followed them for a really long time. Um, they just hit like 5,000 subscribers and so they're doing a giveaway. So I'm going to get in on their giveaway. Um, but I let, he's got a new video up about his goats getting in the cabbage and I'm not joking. I about died laughing. <laughs> it's hilarious. But um, I guess I just wanted to kind of come out here. It's early and I just come, wanted to come check on the animals. Um, my chickens really quick and let all the cats in because it is raining. They refused to come in last night. I knew it was going to storm, but you know, cats do what cats want to do. But I wanted to talk to you about predators. So far, knock on wood, we've not had any predators whatsoever. And I think a lot of that is in part to some of the precautions that I have been taking. Number one is the cats. Um, Katniss, the black and white cat that I tell everybody is so evil. She truly is evil. She has chased away dogs. She has chased, she actually chased away a coyote, which I'm sure at some point she may cross one that's, you know, she's not going to chase away and it's going to kill her. I'm sure that that may end up happening. Um, as, but she's, cause she's so mean. I mean, just, I don't know. I hope it never does, but she's kind of playing, playing with fire, honestly. Um, another precaution that we take, as crazy as it sounds, I don't know if you can see right here, this is a tarp. I have this tarp attached to some poles that are drove in the ground and to the fence. It just provides extra shade. When we built the, the fencing, um, didn't really think about the fact that there's no trees in the fence, so we don't have shade. So I created shade right here. And if you watch, and we always have wind here, and if you watch, you see how it moves? The chickens are used to it. They know that they can go underneath it, nothing's gonna happen. But birds, hawks, things like that, they won't go anywhere near it. The other thing that I took into consideration when I built it, there's the barn, there's the paddock, this light. This light stays on all night long. Um, and. I know some of you that's not possible, but you could, I mean, if you could add a lot, that would be great, but that's, that's what we use. This light comes on and it lights up the whole barnyard area. It even actually shines into the barn so that the barn is lit up because it has skylights. So our barn stays pretty, it's not so light that they can't sleep, but you know, there's a faint glow through the barn so that you can walk through yourself without killing yourself. Um, and then the chickens, of course, I also have these little solar lights that are inside the barn. Um, I only have two of them. And I hung, have them hung up near the roost that kind of shine. They're very faint, but they're just there enough to give the chickens some light so that they don't, like, fall and kill themselves. Um, but these are some of the, and of course I have the fencing. These are just some of the um, precautions that I take against predators. The other one is, is our barn is completely sealable. It's all metal. Nobody can get in. Nobody can get out. And so we actually lock that door at night. The gate also has a lock on it. We lock it because there are more predators than just animals. As terrible as that is, there's more predators than animals. So these are just some of the precautions that I take. What are precautions that you guys take? What are some ideas that you have to keep your animals safe, especially chickens? Because let's face it, everybody likes chicken, including us. <laughs> so what are some precautions that you guys take to keep your animals safe on your homestead? See you later, guys. I came out here to do a check on the barn. Some of my girls are just walking around, but a lot of them are in the far corner, dust bathing in old blue, the standing guard of the ladies so that they can dust bathe in peace. Tinky, you didn't want to dust bathe? She said nope. I got some sweet girls. Got some sweet girls. Olive, you're a good girl. <laughs> but I think it's so sweet that he's just standing there, standing guard of the girls. Just making sure. I guess because they're in a vulnerable position. Buddy, they're down in that dirt. <laughs> Silly chickens. <laughs>